21 questions mukbang. Mm. We got six Chick-fil-A sandwiches. Three original, three spicy. You got to get the mac and cheese. And then you got to get the classic deluxe. Like 20 Chick-fil-A sauces. If you could travel to any time period in the time machine, what time period would you travel to? Mm. I'm a big history guy. So I would travel to the beginning of Springfield, Ohio, just see what it's like, looks like. And I would travel to New York when the Twin Towers were still there. If you could change any one thing about yourself, what would it be? Hmm. So I love myself, but I would only change this because it has, but I would only change this because it has medical problems that's gonna affect me in the future. And that's my feet. I had four uh, feet surgery. Now I don't mind. I don't mind it at all because my feet are sexy. But from a uh, from a medical standpoint and how it's gonna affect me in the future, that's one thing I would change. Mm. When asked what your most fun memory childhood is, what's the first memory you could think of? As my childhood? Oh. Easy. Me and my brother's backyard wrestling. Hmm. What was the first job you ever wanted to have as a kid? I wanted to do art. You know, graphic design, just be an artist. If you could have dinner with any famous person, living or dead, who would it be? No one. Never thought of it. Really not my thing. Mac and cheese. I don't have no spoon. So, also, you see, I got one hand that's not free. I ain't got no spoon for the mac and cheese, so. We'll do it like that. What's your favorite movie to watch over and over again? That's easy. My two favorite movies of all time is ATL and Think Like a Man. I can watch them on repeat, repeat, repeat. Chick-fil-A saw. Ooh, yeah. Get some of that on there. Mm. Mm-hmm. Good elite character in a video game. What is that? Ooh. Ooh. Mmm. It's a great question. <laughs> Grand Theft Auto. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What's your favorite season of year? You know, they change. They change as I get older. Right now, it's fall. I love fall. I went to New York. I go to New York every year in the uh, summer, but I went for the first time last october in the fall i was like oh this is amazing so it, right now it's fall who is your current celebrity crush oh i was just talking about this uh i don't know her name there's two of them i'm not gonna remember if she's also but the first one black widow sister she first appeared in black widow and then she appeared in some um then she appeared in uh the hawkeye series like you know, as her sister, revenging her, whatever. Man. Big crush. Big crush. It used to be Megan Good when I was younger until I seen some paparazzi pictures of her smoking cigarettes and killed me. What's the worst thing you've done to get in trouble? Oof. I've done a lot of stuff, but the thing that changed my life ultimately is trying to catch my foster home on fire. Mm. Mm. What's your biggest fear? natural disasters this year this year i've been traveling all over and i've been going to some crazy places and uh i do not want to be caught in a natural disaster natural disaster and house fires what's the most adventurous thing you've ever done i do adventurous things every day but the most adventurous probably spontaneous so the first time i ever went to new york i remember i was working i quit my job out of nowhere I was just standing there. I was just standing there at work. And I said, you know what? I want to go to New York. I'm tired of working. Quit my job. Call my brother. Said, I'm going to New York. You want to go? Boom, boom, boom. Went to New York. Easy as that. So, I'd say probably that and skydiving. Hmm. You are just handed 100000 to open your own business. What kind of business is it? Oh, that's easy. DCMO. DCMO and my music. I'm investing all up in my music and my channel. So, mm. 
What's your favorite food of all time? That's easy. Original Vincent in Little Italy, New York. I remember one time recently, recently I went, I drove all the way to New York just to get some uh, chicken Alfredo from Original Vincent. Was only there for like two hours and then left. Came all the way back to Ohio. Mm. What's your favorite thing about yourself? Ooh, that's a great question. I don't know. Probably uh, my work ethic and my open-mindedness. So, what's the weirdest thing in your closet? <laughs> Probably my uh, my Gus wig. If you don't know who Gus is, you can check out my music and all that. But I made a rock album, and I have a wig. So, what's your dream job? I'm living it. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> My dream job is what I'm doing now. I'm literally traveling the world and do whatever I want. And it's uh, the coolest thing ever. If you could be part of a family on TV show, which family would you choose? Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. No. <sighs> I'm going to go with Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. What's your biggest pet peeve when it comes to social media? Sensitivity. People are so sensitive. What's your favorite color to wear? White and black. What's your favorite type of dessert? I'm not a big dessert guy, but if I had to choose Reese's Cup pumpkins or the Reese's Cup trees and stuff like that, that's a dessert to me. Dairy Queen Reese's or Butterfinger Blizzards. Who is your family member you're closest to? I would probably have to say my brother, Honest. What's your favorite sport to play and why? Table tennis. Ping to the pong. I love ping pong. Table tennis and pool. I'm very competitive at both, and I'm really good at both, and I have a lot of friends that know how to play both, and they're really good at it, so we be having hours of just playing and going crazy, and we just, you know, the camaraderie and the competitiveness, it's pretty fun. What's your favorite song to sing in the, sh what's your favorite song to sing in the shower? Anything by Ed Sheeran. You walk into a shopping mall, where's the first place you're going? Probably the restroom, I always do that. What's a skill you had to learn? How to rap. Have you heard my first ever song? Oh my goodness, it was atrocious. I'm not the best rapper now, but back then, whoo -wee! What's a tattoo you want to get? Name the first one that comes to mind. Uh, the one I'm going to get soon, it's called Unagi. It's, it's from Friends. And another one is the outline of a TV, so. What is an unpopular opinion that you actually feel strong about? You don't want to know. Trust me. Uh, it's better if I don't say it. What's your favorite thing about your hometown? Family. What's the best compliment you have ever received? <clears throat> I don't really get like giddy over compliments. I appreciate them. But the one that still makes me like feel like, oh, thank you, <laughs> is people compliment my tushy because I work out a lot. So people always compliment my smile or tattoos or whatever it is. But uh, there's a lot of people that love to compliment my booty. I'm like, thank you, you know, because it's an odd compliment. But I do be at the gym. You know, I'm always at the gym and I be working hard on it. So I appreciate that compliment. It makes me feel good. What's your favorite way to celebrate your birthday? I travel. That's how I celebrate. I don't necessarily celebrate my birthday. I celebrate accomplishments. So like this past year, I've done a lot of stuff I wanted to do. And that's what I celebrated during my birthday. What was your first ever concert? I go back and watch this Snapchat pretty often. Uh, I was at a KB concert with some old friends, and man, we was in the mosh pit. It was wild. What's the best decision you ever made? The most recent decision I made was turning DCMO into a review channel. Crazy the opportunities and the stuff I was able to do since I've done that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What's your favorite conspiracy theory? I don't believe in conspiracy theories. What's the most unusual talent you have? I wouldn't say unusual, but I'm very talented at doing puzzles. Like, I don't know what it is, but I'm very good at doing puzzles. 1,000-piece uh, puzzles, 3,000-piece puzzles. I love puzzles, and I'm very good at them. What's the most interesting class you have taken? Oh, my goodness. You don't want to know. Interesting class. And I wouldn't say interesting, but most funny class I've taken, I was in jail and they had and they was teaching sex ed. And I had to put a condom on a wooden ding dong. And uh my mom was not happy when she found that out. Cause I was only what? I don't know. I was between 10, 11, something like that. And they had me doing sex ed classes.
What movie has made you laugh the hardest? There are so many movies that made me laugh so hard, but I'll tell you one that I seen in theaters was Haunted House. I went to theaters and this was when they was doing midnight showings back then. The house, the whole place was packed full. And I just, man, I was with my brother. We were just laughing so hard. What's the most ridiculous thing you ever bought? Ooh. Oh, motorcycle. Hmm. Yeah, motorcycle. Rode that for a couple months, almost died. I said, time to sell it. What weird combination of food do you love? <laughs> I get a lot of hate for this. Mayonnaise on anything. Mayonnaise on, I can put mayonnaise on this, mayonnaise on this, mayonnaise on brownies, mayonnaise on anything. I use mayonnaise as dipping sauce. So, mayonnaise on anything. Do you believe in love at first sight? I do. I experienced it. Uh, Y'all do me a favor. Uh, uh, do me a favor. Please follow DC and Mo for more.